Hey everybody, I'm gonna talk a little loud because you can probably hear the rain outside the tent. For the third night in a row, the mosquitoes have been horrible at uh, the campsite. And also for the third night in a row, it's rained um, when I got to camp. Uh, it actually rained a couple of times today, um, but we can discuss that in a second. Um, actually, a number of things happened today, so we can, we can discuss those. Uh, I just looked myself in the camera and that's a mosquito on my face. Sorry about that. Um, so last night I finished video. Uh, I went to finish filtering water and cook dinner and that stuff and boom, a big storm came in and it, it off and on it rained all night long. There were thunderstorms, lightning, um, loud thunder came right over my tent and uh, I mean, it was essentially from, I think, like 8.30 or 9 all the way until 5, 5.30ish. It was, it was raining off and on. Um, I remember it was, four, it was 10 after 4 and a big clap of thunder hit uh, right above my tent and it rained for about a half an hour. Um, I got a half an hour cat nap and then Sorry, there's a mosquito in the tent. I'm not having that nonsense. I thought I saw him flying around. I finally finally got him. Um, so I got like a half an hour of a sleep and then I woke up at five and was getting dressed and it started raining again. So um, not a lot of sleep the last two nights. They've been cat naps mostly because of the thunderstorms that have occurred both nights. I'm hoping that this storm is just going to uh, pass by and um and it's not going to be like last night so i still it's 7 30 i still haven't filtered water i haven't eaten i haven't stretched um i literally was able to go fetch my water and it took forever because the mosquitoes were all over me um i came back set up my tent and threw all my belongings in here that i need and um that took forever because the mosquitoes and then it started raining as i was searching for rocks to put on the corners of my tents which um for the stakes which is interesting because i just walked through like a huge boulder field and there's no rocks down here i don't think i have to talk as loudly because the rain's subsiding a bit um my hope is the rain makes the mosquitoes go away and i hope there's like a cool breeze that comes with the storm and the mosquitoes uh stay down for the night that that would be preferable so like if it could stop raining in like five minutes when I get finished with the video and uh, just a nice cool breeze to cool everything off and keep mosquitoes down, um, I can hope. So I woke up this morning planning on uh, trying to hike a 30. Uh, I did not get a 30. I got another 28 as I hiked 28 yesterday. Um, I like about like late morning, I started um, hiking slow because there was there was an, a lot of up and down um, and the up and down was like spikes so it was like up down up down and even though it was um, just a, a few hundred feet each time it wasn't like thousands of feet it still um, it still sapped some energy out of me so uh, I started hiking a little bit slow and then the poo fairy called and then I passed the border of Colorado and Wyoming, which we'll talk about in a minute. And so I got a couple of pictures, then I had to filter water. So I basically lost it, um, about an hour in there because um, at the end of all that, I ate lunch. And that hour cost me the two and a half miles to, to get a 30. Um, that's all right, a 28 is, is just fine. I think I needed to average like 27 a day when I came out of Steamboat Springs to make Rollins in six days. And um, I've done 28 the last two days, so I'm, I'm all right. Um, the terrain, like the, the angle at which we're going to hike is going to go down and then get flat um, towards the end of these six days. So I'm not, I'm not concerned about making up a few miles at the, um, like day five and day six. Um, I passed from Colorado into Wyoming. Um, it was in the back country, so uh, some hikers had put some stones together with a line, and they said Wyoming this side, Colorado this side. 
there was a poll right there um, announcing the the Wyoming state line. So on one side it was like Wyoming and like a sign that said Wyoming. And the other side there was a Colorado license plate. So that's that's about it. That's the celebration for crossing the state line. Um, but what that means is in the app that we use, uh, the mileage actually is showing that I'm at 1514. And uh, thunderstorms. Um, so the Gila alternative takes about 100 miles off of the trail and most hikers take the Gila alternative. So let's say that the trail is 3,000 miles long. So according to our app, we're at the, um, the halfway point. So, or just past the halfway point um, today. Um, if you use the 3100, which is I think what like Wikipedia and maybe the coalition uses, um, then halfway will be in two, like one and a half days. Um, my mileage is a little bit off, not only because I hike the Gila alternative, but, or alternate, but I also um, got hit with those fire closures. So I did the 200 mile road walk in New Mexico instead of the 300 mile trail because the trail was closed. Um, so I'm about 200 off. And then I did the side trip to Molas Lake Campground, which round trip was 25 miles. And I did um, the just the 10 miles of the Creed Alternative on the end of it to go in and resupply. So that's like 20 miles round trip. So my mileage is sitting at, I'm gonna talk loud again because it's raining. My mileage is at uh, 1,378 miles. Um, so, I mean, my halfway is probably in day and a half as well. So we're getting close. Um, so yeah, I'm in Wyoming, I'm getting close to halfway. It's actually, um, it's bittersweet thinking about halfway because I can't believe half this trip's finished. Um, but I have not hiked in Wyoming and Montana very much, so I'm excited for that. Uh, it is the 15th of, uh, July. In my original plan, I had permits to hike in the backcountry of Rocky Mountain on the 17th of July, which is outside of Grand Lake. And I, I am already in Wyoming. Um, which is essentially four days plus... three days to the border, seven days plus two. So I'm about, I'm about nine days ahead of where I expected to be. I think hiking from Steamboat to Rollins in six days is gonna increase that to probably 10 or 11 days ahead of schedule, um, of the original schedule. So it's, um, it's amazing that it's it's the 15th, halfway through July, and I'm now hiking in Wyoming, and I've already put... I've already put about 15 miles into Wyoming, so... Um, today's shout-out goes to the older gentleman that I met on the PCT in 2014. Um, just as a reminder, I didn't get to finish the last 250 miles of the PCT in 2013 um, because of the government shutdown and the snow. So in 2014, I went back on trail and finished those 250 miles. When I was there, I met a gentleman um, who was section hiking the PCT and he was on his last section. I think he took 10 years to, um, to hike various sections of the PCT to finish. And the reason why I'm giving him a shout out is because he is the gentleman who introduced me to using um, Capri Suns, like use Capri Sun packages as your water scoop. And 
I have to say that 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 trick saved me today. Um, there were two water sources that had very low flow, but now we're in Wyoming. So when I got into Wyoming, um, there's a little bit of water that I could uh, basically use the Capri Sun package. And then the next water was in a, approximately 10 miles. Like the next verifiable water was in about 10 miles. Um, and then this evening, I was, I got down to a creek, but the creek's, it has a lot of water, but it's not flowing very heavy. And so I had to use, um, I had to use the scoop for that. So it, um, that, that trick has saved me quite a few times in New Mexico. I used it a couple times in Colorado, but mostly in New Mexico. And now it looks like it's going to help me a lot in, in Wyoming. I'm talking aloud again because it's raining. Um, so shout out to that gentleman. I wish I remembered his trail name, but um, that Capri Sun trick for Scoop is genius. It weighs nothing. It's durable, and um, and if it gets a hole in it, you just get a you just get a Capri Sun, and you got a, you got a new Scoop. Um, you could probably also use like tuna and salmon packages, but you know as long as you wash them out, I guess. Um, Man, it helped me a lot today. So, shout out to that gentleman. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm going to go ahead and end this thing because uh, it looks like the sun is um, shining on the, in the distance. So, I think it's the end of the storm. So, I need to filter a liter of water, throw it in my pot, boil it real quick just in case there's another storm so I can eat some dinner um, while the... Uh, hopefully the rain subsides for a little bit. So uh, everyone have a nice evening. Thank you very much for watching the videos and I'll talk to y'all later.